Wouldn't it be great if you could synchronize all the music, pictures, videos across all of the machines in your home uh, without having the burden of manually copying and pasting those files or dragging a hard drive across each one of those computers and updating manually or backing up manually? That's the beauty of Windows Live Sync. By installing a simple application on your Mac or PC, you could synchronize folders, whether and in those folders your data resides, will be synchronized automatically by Windows Live Sync. To utilize this free service that Microsoft provides, go to sync.live.com and click on the Getting Started button. By logging in with your Windows Live ID, which is also free, you'll be greeted with the Windows Live Sync page. If you're a first-time Windows Live Sync user, you'll have to install the application. By clicking on the Install Sync link, that's sitting in the upper right, you'll be greeted with a page where you have the ability to install on Windows or for Mac. Now, to create a synchronized folder, all you have to do is create a personal folder, or you also have the ability to create a shared folder, which we'll talk about later. To create a personal folder, you click on the link, click on the computer where you want to initiate the shared folder. So in this case, I only have one computer set up at the moment. I'll select that one. Now, notice that documents, music, and videos are grayed out. I also want to, that means they're already being synchronized or set to be synchronized. I also want to synchronize my pictures. So I'm going to click on pictures. And notice that I have the ability to go into the folder and synchronize at the folder level. But rather than just synchronizing a few of my pictures, I want to synchronize all my pictures. So I'm going to say sync folder here. Now that the pictures folder is set to synchronize, and because I already have the sync, uh, sync software installed on my desktop, I'm ready to go and install sync on the other computers. And once I do that and log in with my live ID, then all the information sitting on one computer will automatically be transferred to the other computer. No problems. A side feature that Windows Live Sync provides is the ability to remotely access computers. So by clicking on any computer, I have the ability to access data on it. So notice that even though, because, because I own the machine, I could access information sitting on uh, the desktop, the drives, the documents folders, anywhere I want, uh, even though it's not synchronized. This is useful for accessing files that you don't need to have synchronized, but still may need occasional access to. Thanks for watching Windows Live Sync. If you have any questions, feel free to write to Andrew Fryer on his blog. That's blogs.technet.com slash Andrew. All right. Thank you. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.